Man, what is going on everybody? 392 Reviews here, man. Welcome back to another video, man. Happy Sunday out there. Back with another beautiful day, man. Got my 392 here, you know how it is. 392 Reviews, of course, gotta have some 392 content every once in a while, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Um, previous video got distorted. Let's hope that one doesn't happen again. But thank y'all much for coming, man. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, man. Go ahead, throw a thumbs up, man. Helps tremendously with the algorithm, man. Want to reach as many people as possible, you know, in order to share my, you know, love and appreciation for, of course, Mopar related things and just the automotive industry in general. So thank you all for tuning in, man. Let's just hop right into it. Today we're going to be doing a, you know, a kind of a, not like a Q&A type stuff, but just kind of like a talking video in regards to like what sort of modifications I'm going to be doing next on this vehicle. So if you all have been, you know, tuning into the community section, I've been asking some questions. I've been really, really kind of like torn between what kind of modifications I want to do next with this vehicle. I think for the most part, you know, I'm really, really happy with the way um, I had the charger sitting right now, man. Nothing too, too crazy. Few, you know, cosmetic modifications here or there. Just kind of wanted to really go ahead with the uh, smoke show in black colorway man just really utilize those two colors throughout gonna keep it pretty much you know that same color but kind of getting into a little bit of the I think the wheels and suspension um, you know stuff next I finally think I got the back of the car looking how I want it um, you know got the few sections tinted out of course removed the Dodge got rid of that chrome tinted the uh, the reverse light and the other brake lights and so now it's kind of just has that black look all the way through um, of course, you know, shout out to James, got the diffuser, got the carbon five inch tips, and then got the ZL1 add-ons wicker bill. So in regards to the back of the car, I mean, I'm pretty content for right now. Of course, things change, who knows, might want to switch it up every once in a while, but y'all know how it is. For right now, I'm content with how the back is looking. Um, of course, got the Spoiler King wicker bill, or Spoiler King, excuse me, 380R. If y'all not tuned in with that, 392 reviews man go ahead use my discount code get 25% off man spoiler king man awesome company got a really really good product um you know I'm not gonna bore you with that right now let's just you know continue going on with why I wanted to make this video so I'm torn y'all I'm gonna be honest I'm not really sure what modification I want to do next if again you know if y'all have been tuned into the community portions of the channel it's between suspension uh, coilovers, lowering springs, really, really, really indecisive in, in regards to those. Um, and then wheels. So I really want to get the Hellcat five spoke wheels. Um, I really would like the OEM silver finish that actually came on the Hellcats um, it's, as opposed to like uh, the black or like the replicas, which of course come in black, a matte black or a uh, uh, gloss finish. So I was going for um, the gloss finish because I think in my opinion, these these wheels do look good um but they are like a matte color and i think they only really kind of shine when the light hits them i just cleaned the car up but they are still tremendously dirty <laughs> that's that's honestly a big portion why i want to get the five spoke wheels i just think it's going to be super easy to clean them up and i just think they really look good on this vehicle i mean i just think they look good on the challenger or the charger for whatever you know whichever uh you know path you guys took or you took um so yeah i really want to get the five spoke wheels or the og um spider web hellcat wheels y'all know what i'm talking about really really torn between those i'd probably end up selling the daytona wheels after i got those i don't really know if i would keep them as like a you know a winner set i don't really you know who knows maybe i would do that but in pa you know sunny pa you know all jokes aside it really hasn't been too too sunny lately um but today you know got a insanely beautiful day so shout out to that um shout out to mother nature i guess really really torn between what wheels i want to get um yeah i really really don't know it's just really been hard for me to decide uh i don't really want to go with the replicas but that's kind of really all i'm seeing um and then yeah i'd probably sell those that way i could recoup some of the money that i spent with the new wheels and that way utilize some of that towards a new suspension so yeah y'all the suspension i really want to get done just because i want to level the back out um 
I don't know if y'all could see it's like too too good but I mean the car sits really really nice obviously the front's gonna be a little bit lower because you got that big ass 6.4 um, you know 392 cubic engine sitting in the front so obviously the suspension is gonna be way down a little bit and obviously the front's gonna be tuned a little bit differently just because it has that engine up front you know just for weight distribution all that good stuff so I definitely wanted to level the back out but I'm thinking that I could probably get another inch in the front level the back out that way it looks uh, really really smooth throughout um, that's something I really really want to do again with lowering springs I guess you lose like the custom the customization and the you know the really customizability of you know the suspension and the wheel setup because once you throw the lowering springs however that sits it's kind of like done for the most part there's not really that much of a an advantage that you can really take you know you can't really adjust them as you come with coilovers so if for god you know god forbid you're not happy with the way the car sits after the low, lowering springs installation well i mean you're kind of going to be stuck with that but of course that is the cheaper option i mean in reality you could buy two three sets of lowering springs for the price of you know a good price of the coilover so i don't know y'all it's really really tough um I'm torn. I think for, you know, for shits and giggles, just to kind of get the ball rolling, continue with the modifications on the car, I'm probably gravitating towards the lowering springs, the Eibach Pro Kit, as opposed to the H&R. Um, and then I definitely think I'm gravitating more towards the five spoke wheels. So hopefully y'all, that's gonna be coming soon. Um, those are gonna be the, the next two modifications, the wheels and then some form of suspension. Not really sure what I wanna do with that, but that's probably what I'm doing, lowering springs and then five inch or the five spoke hellcat replicas um i really wanted the hellcat red eye wheels but in my opinion um just with the width of that wheel i think those wheels really really you know they're meant for the obvious the wide body the 305s i just think it would poke out a little bit too much and i just don't wait don't think i would like the way they sit and the way they poke out um on the slim body so i mean you know it's got some good poke it's nothing crazy I think uh, when I get the lowering springs, I'd probably get some spacers, maybe, you know, mess with it a little bit more. But the way that the way the car sits right now, I mean, it has a pretty good it has a pretty good stance to it. You know, I was really, really happy. I really, really like how the Charger sits stock with the 275s as opposed to the 245s. Again, the front's really, really aggressive. You have a little bit of, you know, the the meat sticking out. But yeah, yo, I just maybe get the lowering springs, maybe 15 millimeter, 30 millimeter spacers, depending on what they really kind of typically do for the Mopar, uh, for the Mopar specs. Not really sure. I'm pretty sure I read it was the 15 or 30. Not really sure, but yeah, yo, I've just been a real, really enjoying this car, um, and just getting excited, man. More and more as the channel grows, man. Shout out to y'all. We finally reached a thousand subscribers. So thank y'all so much for that, man. Just more motivation for me to continue doing this, man. This is something I really genuinely love and really want to continue doing for the foreseeable future. So shout out to y'all guys. Y'all continue to make this happen. Y'all keep me motivated and all that good stuff. So again, I appreciate y'all. Gonna probably wrap this video up soon. I gotta go get something to eat, man. I am starving. Um, also gotta hit my windows. Probably gonna use the uh, the Wawa free, uh, you know, Windex type shit. Whoa. Um, yeah, so thank y'all so much for watching, man. Hopefully we got some form of suspension some sort of wheel you know upgrades coming soon um yeah don't forget to hit the like button man smash the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed man 392 reviews man thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it um i'm gonna probably do maybe another video after this who knows man i don't know if i'm gonna throw the pov on might maybe will maybe won't it's a beautiful day it's kind of getting warmer i think as the time goes so thank you all so much for watching 392 reviews man checking in checking out